women with high standards getting rejected. How much money does a guy need to make in order to be with you? Way over five mil. I beg your pardon. What's going on, guys? Shot Clips here once again. And this is also small clips of moments of women getting rejected. Now, look, my favorite clip will be at the end, guys. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, guys, it is definitely so sad to watch as well. Basically, we have this man over here. He ends up proposing to this woman, and it seems like she was just not ready. I'm not sure how long you have to be talking to a woman for to pop this big question. But a lot of people in the comments are saying she's definitely going to regret this decision later on in life. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> And this sexless woman's standards are absolutely insane as well. Basically, she decides to go on a second date to Louis Vuitton, and apparently, he was just not ready for that. He ends up recording her, trying to blast her on social media. And to be honest, instead of just doing that, I would have just walked away. This woman is not clearly into him because she just wants to date him or sees a future. She just wants things from him. He needs to leave immediately. I'm gonna go on the floor and say you're taking me shopping. Come on, I was gonna take you shopping, but not no Louis Vuitton. Come on, come on, Forever 21. What you want? I'm not gonna take you so leave the time. Man, you tripping, man. We going to no, Forever 21, on, dude. On come on, dude. I, I haven't even been knowing you for that long. This is our second date, dude. You okay, tripping? So Come on, listen, I'm not gonna take you to no Louis Vuitton, bro. This is second date, bro. I said I was gonna take you shopping forever 21. That's the only place we going. I'm not gonna shop at no But then hey listen, hey listen, we so we not going to no Louis Vuitton. No, no, I'm good, bro. Listen, I'm good. Listen, I'm not even gonna be arguing with you in the mall like you tripping. I'm, I'm gone, bro. Yeah, I'm gone. Cause you're tripping, man. You tripping, bro? Hell no, bro. Man, but. but in this next one, I can't lie, this is a pretty bad first date, because first off, this guy is on his phone, he brought his kid, I understand there are single fathers out there, so let's just not be too harsh on that, but he also is super dirt broke. Now guys, I'm sorry, but my opinion is, you should not be dating if you are broke, figure yourself out as a man, develop yourself, be successful, and then go out and try focusing on other women, because usually they are distractions, and I think it's just too soon for him to be going out and talking to new women already. Worst first date ever. He would not get off his phone when I got there. He even brought his baby that he didn't tell me about. What are you gonna get to eat? Mm, I think I'm gonna get the full rack of ribs. Are you sure you don't want a salad? Mm, no, I think I want the ribs. Well, if you forgot your wallet, you can just like Venmo me or cash out me, that's fine. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have cash out. Where are my money? Okay, well, um, like your bank account, you can just transfer the money to me. Here you go. I'm waiting for a check to pay. And sorry, what was the last thing you asked me for? A little container of carrots. Oh, carrots. carrots. Yes, yeah. gotcha. Well, honestly, I feel like you invited me here. Like, I feel like I shouldn't have to pay. I thought you invited me. In this section, we have this modern woman over here. She ended up realizing that money ain't everything. She was actually sold this huge delusional story from other women that she should have insanely high standards, reject every single man until she finds the most perfect man ever because she is that type of woman. She is the bad girl. She deserves everything. And I'm super happy she woke up before it was just too late. The thing I didn't really anticipate in my life being single is that the more successful you get, the more single kind of hurts. I am a very independent person. I pride myself on like, I can do anything alone. You've seen me talk about it on here. At the end of the day, I come home to my house that I bought myself. And I have nobody to talk to about any of this. If you're a solid bad B, keep rocking and don't settle. And this next one, let me know what you guys think about this clip. People were saying, well, since a boyfriend is involved, there's nothing wrong with this. But in my opinion, this relationship is going to collapse the moment she starts making a lot more money and realizes she doesn't need this boyfriend anymore. She does OnlyFans with her boyfriend and is trying to make it seem like they're both perfectly compatible with one another. This relationship fully just revolves around money and that's it. There's no love involved. Sex worker. So today, my boyfriend and I will be filming some spicy content for my onion flans, if you get my drift. <laughs> What? 
<laughs> so my boyfriend Z, he likes to make the occasional appearance in my videos and to answer some of the frequently asked questions that we get. What's it like having a boyfriend and doing onion flans and how does he feel about he it? He is absolutely fine with it and to be honest we have a lot of fun doing it. Now I don't make content with anyone else other than him and he just makes the occasional appearance so he will be appearing in the video that we uh, shot today. Now correlate to that last clip, people usually always say, oh those kind of OnlyFans girl will regret their decisions later on after they make so much money and sorry guys but that's usually the case. For example we have this woman over here also did the exact same thing, had the exact same profession and guys after she became a mother she deeply regrets doing that in, in the past and even seeing her videos online. Much of fool in most of my decisions. Even with all the success that you've had, you're an incredible mother now, businesswoman, you're working with Playboy, you still look back on that and you still feel ashamed? Yeah, I don't like the fact that people can see me naked on the internet or can see those things happening to me. I think that it's gross. How? That is crazy that you can, can build this whole life and you still feel ashamed. I mean, I'm, I'm proud of myself and what I've done and, and I wouldn't take anything back. However, it's not like I, I like the idea that people can view that of me. I personally, those videos make me want to throw up. And this next one, I can't believe people really do find this as an ick. A man can't really do anything around a woman anymore unless they just find it disgusting. And this is next when we have this guy over here. I guess he's talking to this girl on a speed date. She was just too old for him by the looks of it. Yeah. I'm 36. Yeah. How old are you? 35. I don't believe you now. You don't? Because I look younger. <laughs> you look older. <gasps> and this is next when we have this woman over here. I guess she's just a random girl this guy decides to interview. And just listen to what she wants from a man and how much he needs to make in order for her to date him. Guys, this is a random woman. And if you don't realize, there aren't that many rich men out there. It's a super small percentage. You do realize that every single girl with this kind of mindset is going to have a guy like that. How much money does a guy need to make in order to be with you? Way over five mil. I beg your pardon? Over five mil. Over five million? Yes. Per year? Yes. Why? Because that's how much... Never mind. So over $5 million a year in order to be with you. Yes. Now on the flip side, this is exactly what men think about women when they make a lot of money. And this goes to show that men don't care about that. You can work at McDonald's and just be pretty and men will still date you. Money doesn't mean anything at all to a man. How much does your girl have to make to become your wife? Um, I think that she really just has to mentally be in the right state of mind because money really doesn't matter. It's all about the mindset and the person. Okay. How about you? Yeah, that doesn't, I don't know. That don't really matter to me as long as she figure out what she want to do and something she's looking forward to is not really a price though like you know shoot as long as she can cook and clean and she a good mom i'm gonna make all the bread <laughs> and this next we have this woman over here she decides to reject this marriage proposal simply due to the fact that she is scared about what the future is going to lead up to do you ever expect to ever have a future like that like have kids you're just pretty much delaying the inevitable and missing a perfect opportunity <laughs> Now, part of the worst couple of guys, we have this woman over here. She is making this long video just to explain about how she regrets divorcing her husband. She does not want the city girl lifestyle. She regrets divorcing him and leaving a good man on the table, stacks up a higher body count, and is ruining her value while her husband is easily able to replace her. I am super happy she's speaking up about this because a lot of women are delusional and they feel like a man is super easy to find and they can just snatch him at any point when they're ready. Divorce my husband. Why did I divorce my husband? I divorced my husband because I was making a certain amount of money. I divorced my husband because I thought I didn't need him anymore. I divorced my husband because I had this senior position at work and thought I held the same position at home. I divorced my husband because I thought I was better than him because I had my degree now. I divorced my husband because I thought a successful marriage meant I was here and he was down here. That is not success. That's sickness. I found myself divorced and out there looking for love in all the wrong places.
and this one and that one and that one and that one and this one and that one and my body count going up and my value going down now guys she is bringing up a lot of good points one of them being about how a high body count ruins a woman's value nowadays anytime a man says that we get called misogynistic because apparently it doesn't ruin a woman's value but here it is a grown logical woman saying that and i do hope any women who are watching this takes this advice seriously because it does matter i'm just gonna call it like a ti is all the while my husband done found somebody else building a a relationship and building a life with them i should have stayed married to my husband i felt like i was on this dark road with no street lights pitch dark and i couldn't find my way and didn't know which way to go i felt lost i felt like i was walking barefoot on that dark road with pebbles and hot rocks sticking my foot i felt hurt uh, I felt alone because every time he and that one and this one and that one left my bed, I was alone all by myself. And which was supposed to be soft and comfortable, comfortable for me, my pillow, it was now filled with tears. I should not have left my husband. Well, that does it for you guys. So much for watching, guys. The next one. Take care. Peace.